What's up, Dulip Nye here? Um, as you can see, the um, the cipher has been completed. The cipher is out. Freestyles, interviews, everything is finally finished, and I've gotten and collected a bunch of questions from the audience over the last few weeks about thing you know about what goes on I got some of them here I got the good ones here and I don't know what they are I mean I know what they are I just haven't thought about how to answer them I just kind of grabbed them but so here we go first question is is there anybody you wish that you had on there of course there's a lot of people that do not show up to these things and there's a lot of people that are more, I guess, experienced than others. So doing something like this would be not in their radius. And there's a couple of people that were really good that we just never got to, to get. Uh, Charles Infamous is, an, is one of them. Young Zav, we did not get him. Quilly Da Vinci, really wanted him. And, you know, Il Dill, DeVille. Just there's it's mostly people from the 2021 class, but there was a few others from other like from the the first two that I wish showed up. Um, but yeah, there's there's all the time. There's people that I wanted all the time. Who's the most successful out of the groups so far? Two people come to mind. I'd say for one, Money Made Eli because. He has, I'd say he's the one that is the most suited for today's music. And it shows he's been, he was on tour with 42 Doug, whoever that is. Apparently, um, I went to see him at a show where 42 Doug was there, took a picture. I showed some people there like, you took a picture of 42 Doug? I, was, I, I don't know exactly who that is. Apparently he's big. I have no idea. So he's been touring. Um, he's been traveling across the, you know, the nation. Uh, he has a lot of numbers on YouTube. Uh, things like that. So I'd say he's probably doing the best. But I would also like to throw in Despues as well. He moved from Philadelphia to California, you know, that's kind of like the cornucopia to getting discovered. And he's just been doing live performances here and there. He's been releasing new music. So I'd say, man, he's been doing pretty, those two have been doing pretty well for themselves. Is there anybody that you didn't like or was, <laughs> or was trash? Yes, yes, there were people on there, not necessarily that I didn't like, but there were people that have been not as good as we have hoped. I cannot get into who that may be because that, that would ruin, you know, all my business and my connections. But yeah, there are there has been a couple of individuals that I could have gone without. I mean, there's not too many, you know? It's not like it's like five or six. It's only been like, like two. There's only two people that I would have been like okay with if they weren't there i'll take that to the grave with me uh my friends know who, who they are who's everybody screaming mama about in the beginning of the cypher <laughs> uh all right so didn't think anybody would catch that actually i think i freaking know who asked this question in one of the ciphers you know you can dig to find out who it is i'm not going to say who it is there was an individual who came in participated in the cypher. He came through, was really excited to see him. He started off by saying like, oh, you know, he's a really good freestyler, things like that. And, you know, I was glad to hear it. I'm, I hope you know how to do it. We get there and um, he just wasn't prepared at all. So, and one of the things that he said was, you know, he's talking about he was talking, he was making a rap about his mom, his mama, which is fine, had no problem with that, but we knew that it wasn't up to par with what he was telling us. So years later, 
when we do this cipher, certain individuals that were on the ciphers seen that and was like, you know, there's no way you could let somebody like that on the cipher rapping like that. And he was trying to remember what he said. The only thing he could remember was when he said mama. So they kept making fun of him for saying mama throughout the day, you know, things like that. And when it got to the cipher, they said it every time we, we, we did a take. So what you hear is, is, is just an excerpt from one of those previous ciphers with an individual they didn't really think should have been on there. And they just, you know, put a little Easter egg about that. I'm not saying who it is or where it's at. What's the hardest part about filming a cipher? Honestly, the hard, hardest part about filming a cipher is just having people show up. There's a lot of times, er, not a lot of times, every time that I do this, I get people locked in and they either forget about it, they don't show up, they plan things knowing that they have this cipher to do. Um, you know, they, I mean, one guy freaking went to the freaking Bahamas, like, they, they, they stay, like I said before, they stay locked in, but then when the day comes, they're nowhere to be found. It's just, honestly, it's getting people, because there are a lot of people here that do music, but, you know, I don't, I don't really know what it is, you know, I'm trying to help them, but it takes two to tango, basically. I need, I need them so I can help them, basically. Um, some people are always down, like they're down with the message they get what I'm doing, things like that. But some people just, they're a little bit too big for their britches, and so to speak. Some people, it has been the case, they just honestly, they honestly just couldn't make it because of personal reasons. Those are not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that tell me yes and refute that claim, like, days before production or they just don't answer me back you know that's what i'm talking about um who is your favorite class uh obviously the one that i was in like what do you mean <laughs> um actually no my favorite class is the 2020 class just because they had a lot of star power you know they had a lot more people um, it was just like one of those, everybody knew what they were here for, so I, I just was able to work with, I, w I was able to do more compared to the, the previous year. And by that time, you know, I s realized what I was doing was like, had some weight to it. Is there anything that you would have changed? Camera cut off. So hopefully, I don't have to answer my other question. Um, yes, I would have changed a ton of things, especially in the first cipher. If you notice, we did not do an interview. I wish I did an interview to get to know those other four gentlemen, including myself, better. Uh, just about the music. I wish I was more focused on what. The, the goal of it was, um, you know, just basically what I do with the other ciphers now, I wish I'd started it with the first one since, you know, I was on it. I really wish that for the second cipher, um, you know, I did a little bit more things instead of just interview freestyle cipher, you know, you know, ask them more things but we would have been there all day. So I guess maybe, maybe not, but definitely for the first one. Next question is, are there any interesting stories? Yes, there are a ton of interesting stories. I think I can tell one from each. Uh, starting off with the first one, there was a situation with me uh, and my cipher. I couldn't get these, these bars down because I tried to I tried to use them from a song that I already made. But 
it wouldn't have made sense because in the song I mentioned uh, my man Kevin, who I made the song with. It was like, uh, we hit you so hard in the legs you'd be walking like Mr. McMahon. Me and Kev the up and coming, you know. But that wouldn't have made sense. And everybody would have thought, you know, that was a fraud, you know, things like that. So I couldn't use it. I wrapped everything from the beginning to that to that line. But up until that, I froze because I didn't know what else to say. And it messed up the the take, you know, we were gonna do it again, as you saw the camera pans away, but I keep going and I don't know what else I'm going to say so I improvise. And whatever I say after that is like stuff, I don't even remember what I said. All I know is that I said something about wanting to go Super Saiyan. Gotta get my anime references there. And I just wanted to make sure that we didn't do another take, you know, I didn't want to, I wasn't, I don't even remember what the original verse was supposed to look like because I did have something else but I knew that I had to keep going and um, that improvisation was pretty cool for the second year 2020 the coolest thing happened while we were there so as you know when we're filming we we have certain um, hot spots to get certain shots at for the freestyles, you have it at the wall, and everybody that's participating, they have to be quiet so we can get the shot, and they're sitting behind the camera. So, Despues comes up, and I believe, like, maybe one or two people may have went already for the freestyle. Uh, he comes up very confidently, and he says, I'm going to go three times, you choose the best one. And, mind you, these are off the top as well. First take. He gives us three freestyles. And I just thought that was the most badass thing someone could ever do. And we end up choosing the, uh, I believe it was the second one he gave us. Which is the, you know, the, the, the final take. But we end up uploading the other two. And it was amazing. Because I've never seen anybody do that. And I think it may have intimidated some of the other uh, artists to go up after that. So, um, yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool thing. If, if you guys didn't know about that already. Um, but for this cypher, there was... We were doing um, the uh, favorite things portion. And a lady came in through these through the door now where we film is like a it's like a student it's like for it's like a conference conference room and the doors are really loud so I believe when we walked in there there's things that are, were already inside and we were waiting for the people to come back but we already set up so and we booked the room so we had the rights to be in there but while we were filming, these people finally decided to come back and get their stuff. So you hear this loud bang, and this lady, she comes in and, and says like, Oh, you guys are working hard, aren't you? You guys are working real hard. That might be out of people's range, but it is what it is. Uh, one of my newer shows. You guys look real busy. <laughs> gotta be uh, power. We'll just do that over again. No, it's okay. Oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, take your time. While we were filming and didn't even notice, so we're like, okay, so she just ruined the shot. Now we got to start over. And she took a long time to leave. She wanted to have a conversation with us about who knows what, and all she had to do was get a jacket. It was this old white lady. And then, when she's about to leave, she sees what we're doing. She's like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Like, you know, I didn't mean to stumble upon your production. I was like, it's too late, lady. Uh, and we saved the footage. So, yeah. Uh, we'll probably, I'll probably post that sometime. But it was during Smack's uh, favorite things. 
So it was just kind of like, like, come on, lady. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are a few interesting stories. Lastly, were there any collabs from this cipher musically? I think so. There was a few. Yeah, there was a few. Um, so Tall Stacks and Juice, who were on the first, they made a track called Wave after this. Um, and this was an opportunity to just to get people together, which was the goal. But other than that, I'm not really sure because if they had it songs together, they probably were already like a group before. Like Velcro and Juice, they already had tracks together. v J. Walt, and JP, they all had songs within each other already. I mean, I, I, I want to believe that Rachel and Des West were going to make something musically. That would be dope. Um, I know me and Jack Jackson Jr., we have something together, but I'm waiting for him, uh, to be honest. I've already done my part. We went to a studio for it. Uh, so there's a couple of artists that did a couple of things. I, I want to say Dre and Juice probably did something. It, it seems like the avenue that they would take. That's it for all the questions. You um, can find all these artists um, on their social platforms throughout all the ciphers, all the videos, excuse me. Um, there is a playlist, there's a second playlist on SoundCloud and Spotify. It's called the Ville Freshman Class playlist. And um, I separated it from years one through three and years four through six. Right now, this is year four, even though there is no, there was no cypher last year, but all the artists from, you know, 2019, 2021 are in the first playlist, and we're going to have all the artists from 2022, 2023, and 2024 in this playlist, so on and so forth. So you can look out for that, you know, hopefully you enjoyed the cypher, hopefully we can find more people. Um, I know a lot of people, I, there was a question about Eli Capella, but I'm not about to get into that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for checking out the Cypher. Let me know who you thought was the best, in your opinion. Let them know how they did on the Cypher, which one was your favorite. And um, see you next time. Thank you.